Welcome to PPP Helix. So in today's video, we are going to see how to draw different types of circles and we we'll also learn how to give different types of colors. So let's begin. Okay, so here I am just going to press the enter. Now I have this blend slide. So the first way to draw a circle is by going to the insert tab and the insert tab will give the shift option and then just select the oval and then by pressing the shift key just draw the circle. This is the easiest way and the common way that everybody knows. Now there is another way by which you can draw a circle. So for that there is a new tab that is introduced in Microsoft latest version. So you just go to the draw tab. And in the draw tab, just select this pen, okay? And here there are so many options. You can select any color. So maybe this little silver, okay? And now, just draw the circle like this. Now, by selecting it, we are going to press in two shapes. Okay, and as you can see, now we have a perfect circle. Alright, so now we'll go to the shape format. Okay, and in the shape format, the shape fill is going to be no fill. Alright, let's select the shape. Press the right button on our mouse and let's go to the format shape. And in the format shape option, the lines option and in the line option okay let's select the type of line we want so here dash type you can select this kind of dots click and then you can just in the way give it eight all right as you can see, it's flat. The cap type is flat. So we'll go to the drop down menu and select the map. Perfect. And if the join type also, we can select the bevel or round. Round. Perfect. And the color we want white. Alright. So here, this is one kind of circle. So in the circle, if we want, we can add any color. And here, I have just changed the border of the circle. Now, in the next step, what we can do, let's get some animations. Let's fill solid color. Solid color B. All right. So the simple and the basic animation is just go to the drop down menu, the animation tab, and just select the Okay, and in the spin option, let's give it 15 seconds. Let's select start with previous. Okay, and in the effect options, go to the timings, looking until and offset. So it's very basic and simple and that we can do and Alright, now in the next, I am going to insert another circle. For that, I need this donut. I am going to select this donut by pressing the shift key and the donut like this. Let's bring it over here. Now, I'm pressing this yellow circle we can put it goes it's good all right perfect if you want we can reduce it so now shape outline is the outline and shape fill for this is the yellow now i am going to insert another shape that is the candle perfectly at the center middle okay now first of all i'm going to select this donut by pressing the control key and click the triangle and in the merge shape option I'm going to select the subtract part. I have to select this half donut. Now by pressing the control D, just copy it. Okay. And 
in the shape format option is the rotate option flip vertical and let's join it yes now by pressing the control e select the other half also and now press the control v to do now go to the animation tab and in the animation tab let's select spin up okay now for this half we have to give another color okay so for that we will go to the shape format and in the shape format we are going to fill no okay now by pressing the control key i am going to select the other half also and now press the control g and now we are going to give the animation that is Alright, perfect. In the effect options here, we have the counter clock time and the duration can be eight seconds. And again, we go to the drop down menu, start with previous, drop down, effect options, timings, repeat until and slide. Okay. Now let's have a preview for both the sides. Beautiful. Perfect. Now we are going to see how to create another kind of app. So for that, we we'll go to the insert option. Again, we are going to select this. Now let's by pressing the shift key insert this donut. Now we by moving this yellow handle. Words we get this at those points, okay? Like this, and the shape outline is going to be outline. Here, fill select any color, yellow or this light green color. All right, perfect. Now, in the next step, let's move it aside. Press Control D to make the exact copy of the circle, and then place it exactly in the center. All right. Now the same way we are going to select the rectangle, and at the middle we are going to draw the rectangle like this. Same way for select the donut, then select the rectangle by pressing the control key. In the merge shape option, select the subtract. Okay. Now by pressing the control key, make exact copy, rotate, flip, rotate, okay, and now join. Now in this, this second half. We are going to do shape outline is going to be outline and shape fill is going to be no. And the upper part, the shape fill is going to be this darkly colored. Now we're pressing the control key. All right, I am going to group them by pressing control G. All right, so like this, something of this kind we. Something like this. Now pressing the Control D, we need to get that copy. Okay, and I am going to rotate it. Let's copy. Perfect. Now I am going to select all the shapes by pressing the Control A. And now in the shape format option, align, align, center, align. So here we can see that all the shapes are on top of each other. Now, in the next option, we are going to get some animation. So animation is the spinning. All right. Now, for all the three, start the series. Okay. For all the three, for all the three. Go to the effect options, the timing, the key, and it's going to be at the end of the time. And in the effect option, this mode start will be for one second, and this mode end is going to be for one second. All right. 
Now, here for the group 6, I am going to do some changes in the effect option. Instead of a full spin, I am going to select the half spin. So like this, it's going to happen. Right? So let's show you once. Okay, select it. Um, if you want, you can also select quarter spin. Like quarter spin. Beautiful. So the same kind of animation here. I have chosen the donut shape. You can give the same kind of animation with the whole circle. Itself. So let's see. So in the new slide, I'm going to insert the oval, addressing the shape. Just circle at the center. Shape fill is going to be in color yellow. Shape outline is going to be in outline. Now by pressing the control D, back copy and put it aside. Okay. Now insert the rectangle. But the hole is it should be in the center. Now let's insert the rectangle. Yeah. Now first of all we are going to select the circle by pressing the control key. Select the rectangle in the merge shape option subtract. Okay. And now press the control D to make the exact copy. Rotate, flip vertical. In the other half, exactly over here, shape outline is going to be outline shape fill is also going to be and for the other half the shape fill is going to be this dark blue color the same color as of background now i'm going to select the other half also by pressing the control key now press the control v look that okay and let's bring it in. now press the control v to make the exact copy and rotate it the vertical that's okay. all right now in the sli slide press ctrl a okay and in the shape format option align align center align align middle and the center and the animation give the spin animation For all the animations, select start with previous and in the effect options, in the timing, repeat until end of slide, effect, one, sec one second smooth start, one second smooth end. Okay, press or off. Now for the groups. Seven, we can do something like this. All right. So for the group seven, in the effect options, let's select two spins. Okay. And now let's select a animation and click select. This is the kind of animation which we are going to see. Now let's see another kind of animation. So press the enter key for the new slide. And in the new slide, I am going to another key here. Okay, stars and banners. So you can select 24 points, 32 points, 12, whatever you want. I'm going to select the 24 points and I'm going to press the shift key. And this is the center. Okay. By pressing the yellow handle, I'm going to <coughs> shape outline is going to be white color shape fill white color all right now in the next step i am going to insert a circle for that let's go to the oval shape by pressing the shift key 
The size of the circle should be exactly the same. The color of the circle will be exactly the same of the background and the outline is going to be the no outline. Now by pressing the control A key, we are going to select for the shapes and now we'll give them some animation. So both the shapes we are going to build grow and shrink them. Alright, now both the animation will start with previous. Both the animations with the effect options and the timings, repeat until end of slide. Off. Now here for the oval to we go to the effect option and instead of 150 degrees, let's give it 120 degrees. Now let's select both the animation and place it. This is the kind of animation that we get. Now let's have a final preview for all these animations. 